A landscape approach is essentially a, a, a looking at a more holistic approach in terms of managing landscapes. Now, landscapes means, mean different things to different people. And the many, many disciplines have, have talked about landscapes, disciplines of art, philosophy, um, anthropology. We talk about and think about landscapes in different ways, but in the forestry and development sector, we're talking about landscapes as pretty much as geographical entities that are influenced by the externalities that surround them, but also the internalities that affect them. So, for example, if a logging concession inside a landscape is operating unsustainably, that has an impact within the wider landscape. However, if a policy is made in a capital city a long way away, that has a huge impact on that landscape. For example, a concession for oil palm that's put into that landscape. That has an influence on the landscape. So the landscape, in fact, is, is a fluid concept as much as it is a, a geographical one. Um, and in fact, there's, it's almost there's an expression that landscapes of the mind as much as landscapes of practice. And we're basically trying to understand how, how does a manager get up every day and think about his or her landscape? And it's about involving multiple stakeholders, multiple processes, the incredibly difficult and complex layers of politics, socioeconomics, culture, the, the ecological environmental side, um, and laying all of those bits, if you like, together to understand how they all relate. And without, un without doing that, we're reduced to those silo mentalities. And, and why is it important now? It's because of the need to integrate agriculture and the environment. And traditionally, these have been segregated to such an extent that they're affecting each other badly. So we're providing empirical evidence to show both ways, to show how important forests and trees are for agriculture, but also how agriculture can complement um, production systems within multifunctional landscapes. So not just, we don't think about agriculture as fields of wheat and barley, we think of agriculture in terms of small scale um, farmers who are growing a diversity of crops. Those cropping systems are more resilient because they're in landscapes that have a diversity of, of ecosystems and social systems as well. I think, I think fundamentally, as I say, the mantra of landscapes has become so pervasive in the development context and also the conservation context as well. I would like people to really understand what that means. And, and it's not just about, as I say, providing a definition, it's about embracing... I, I trained as a biophysical scientist, but I have also did a PhD in, in anthropology. So I can get a sense of why anthropological issues are important for the environmental issues within a particular landscape. And I think that's a message we need to get across. Um, that multidisciplinarity, the interdisciplinarity of thinking that requires a, a much more nuanced thinking about the way that landscapes interact. And that that landscape as an umbrella term really does encompass pretty much everything we do at C4 because we operate on that scale.